there, Julie from Inspired by Memories. Today I'm going to be doing a mixed media page. I'm a bit naive to the media, although I do use lots of different types on individual layouts. This is a biggie for me. I'm using Gesso um, onto my page, which is a pink and like a talk colour, uh, which will go nicely with my daughter's wedding photo. I blend it out in a circle pattern. Now I'm going to cut these rosy out, um, fussy cut in, because I think they're so pretty. Um, and just want them cut out in case I do need to use them. They are the right colours. As you can see, there's a torpy colour and different shades of pink. And that's exactly the shades that I'm going for. So once I've cut those out, I'm going to work with this frame and everything centres around this frame. Um, which is chipboard, uh, very delicate. Uh, so what I'm going to do is just put it on the page to mark out where I need it to be and then I'm going to put it away safe. So now I'm going to use some modelling paste to mark out these hearts in little clusters, just a couple of them, just to give me some height on the page and some interest. They came out really well, I'm pleased with that. So there, we, there I am marking the frame and pulling it away. These tiny little hearts here I'm going to put some paste in as well. Literally just to um, create some interest here and there in little clusters of two. And you can see there, just about see there, the circle of gesso now that it's dried. Now I've got some cheesecloth and I'm going to spray some taupe and magenta and literally swirl it round my glass cutting board until it's entirely covered and I'm going to put that to dry while I work on the rest of the page. The next stage is to use some bubble wrap and I've literally just put some gesso on it in the places that I want and squished it down onto the page. Um, I'm so chuffed with the results. At this stage, I'm also going to paint those little hearts that I used the gesso on earlier, no, the modeling paste on earlier with some shine. And it really does, it's like pearlescent. Actually, I think they call it iridescent from Vicky Booting. Just laying this out just to get an idea of where things are going. So far, so good. As you can see the gap there where the photo will be. Quick spray of more magenta, which I'm going to now squidge in or swoosh in. But that particular area of um, gesso down here on the left Still not quite dry, so I need to be careful there. So give it a little bit longer while I prepare my photo. I've decided to do it in black and white. Um, beautiful photo of my daughter on her special day. A day I'll never forget. A proud mummy. So stamping up, we've got some um, Torp ink. And I'm going to use a script stencil to lay some script into certain places uh, I think there's two on the left and one on the right now the wording is beautiful however that's no good because you're not going to be able to read it because I'm only using little areas of it and then fading it out so I'm using my blotting tool so I want it to look a bit bashed around and a bit, I don't want it, anything to look neat, which is so unlike me. I like things neat. The page is really coming together now. Um, really, what I've done on the uh, on top, really blending in with the paper. And now I've got a chipboard script saying dream today. Perfect for a wedding. And now we're going to put it all in place. So stretching out the cheesecloth, lovely and dry, to where I want it to go. 
literally around the words and I'm going to put that down with the glue gun so the picture can come in on top and first of all I've laid down a doily which is sort of pearlescent really does give a nice background to this photograph and chipboard frame just makes the frame look larger and really stands out against that cheesecloth so now you'll see why I was going for the chip for the top and the pink and that's because I purchased myself <laughs> some prima flowers oh they're so beautiful and uh, the top just jumped out at me they're so pretty so I'm building some clusters either side of my daughter and then one up in the top left different shades of pink peaches beiges and creams I love the way you can see the wording and the gesso and hearts through the cheesecloth. I'm so pleased I chose to do it in a darker colour. If you look on the right, you'll see this ribbon that's got leaves on it, baby pink. That's what I'm putting in now. And it really does give a lovely pearly shine to the flowered clusters. So we're nearly there now. Stuck my words down and I'm going to add a few, not too many, but a few dots in like a, a taupe colour, ranging in sizes and just randomly around the cheesecloth. Also, I've got the tiniest, tiniest pink crystals and I'm going to randomly put those over the page some of them are so so tiny but the light catches them and they're beautiful so I'm placing them around the page and also on the cheesecloth just to give a little bit of bling I didn't want it to be too blingy because on the photograph um, there's this beautiful it looks like a brooch but it's not saying love and that is blingy enough it's just perfect so I hope you've enjoyed my video today and here's some photographs, some close-ups of the work I've done. I think you can see it better through photographs rather than a video, even though you do need to know the process to be able to, to achieve it yourself. I'll see you all again soon and thanks for watching.